Hello and welcome to the channel where we talk about all things Y Schwartz and chill with friends. My name is Liam and today I'm going to be talking about my Coronet Marine deck profile. Now if you are new to the channel here, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you enjoy this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. As well as that, please make sure you check out my other social medias on Twitch, Discord, Twitter and on Patreon. Links are all in the description below, but let's jump straight in. So today, as part of my Hololive deck profile videos, I am going to be covering my Coronet Marine deck. And as with the other videos of this series, this would not be possible if it weren't for our sponsor, Red Viper Games. So if you don't know already, Red Viper Games are an EU-based Weishwartz singles and playset specialist, as well as selling sealed Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering product. And there aren't many Weishwartz single distributors in the EU, so these guys do a fantastic job helping us out here. I'm sure that we've all used the likes of card market in Europe, but these guys are actually incredibly competitive and some of the lowest prices in Europe. And you can get things even cheaper if you use the discount code WISENCHILL5 at checkout, where you'll get 5% off any Weishwartz single or playset purchase. So a big thank you to Red Viper Games for making this video possible. And let's jump straight in. Now we run 17 level zeros, and of course that means that we run four copies of the level zero Aqua, which is on center stage in the middle position. It gets 3000 power continuous. And also when this card goes from stage to waiting room, you may pay one, put a character from waiting room to bottom of clock, and then reveal top two cards of your deck and any character amongst those up to your hand. Extremely good card for early game. It's big 3-5, and there's even better ways of making it even bigger in how this deck works to try and maintain board during your level zero game. We run three copies of the Towards the Future Together Fubuki. Uh, it's an on play, give one of your characters 1,500 power. And also when this card goes from stage to waiting room, you may discard a card from your hand to look up to the top four cards of your deck and add a level one or higher card amongst those. So again, what we call this is, is a Gregory in the UK, because we're memes, I guess. Um, but it's a Fuka Zero or a Chiori, as some people call it as well. Again, if you don't know what those slangs are, make sure you check out my Y slang series here on this channel. We also run three copies of the trial deck drop search, the Sakuramiko. It's a 3,500 power uh, base with uh, all of your opponent's characters gain Encore 2, and then it's a pay one, drop one uh, to search for a Hololive character. It's a really good card. Like the fact that your opponent gets an Encore 2 isn't the end of the world. If you want, don't want them to have that, you can use this, then play over it and stop that Encore 2 from happening. Or you can crash into something and you would get your Encore step first during your turn rather than your opponent. So it stops your opponent basically getting the advantage of the Encore 2. But yeah, the fact there's 3,500 power, again, it helps you maintain board at level zero in cooperation with three copies of the Shy Usada Pekora. Uh, this card is a global uh, 500 uh, power to all characters, making your free fives up to 4,000 power. It also comes into play, uh, you can get a character from your waiting room and put it under this card as a face down marker. And if this card during your turn go from stage to waiting room and it has a marker underneath it you can bring this card back rested meaning that you can use it for sack effects which we'll come to later and still get it to use it for later on in the game as well as that we run three copies of the towards the future together uh matsuri brainstorm which is uh, got two act abilities it's a pay one tap self salvage brainstorm for the top four cards of your deck and it's also a tap self uh, with no additional cost uh, to choose one of your level one or higher characters to give 1500 power now that might not seem that great but when we come to the level one game you'll understand why that second effect is actually quite useful finally to round out our level zeros we run one copy of the uh climax sopper uh, the Watame, which is a pay one, discard a climax, salvage a climax. And also it's got the effect of when damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may put this card to your stock. So it's a very nice little bit of stock gen, but you run it mainly for the climax swapper ability. Moving very swiftly to our level one game, we run four copies of the trial deck level one combo, birthday party Inugami Kodane from the gamers trial deck. And that combos with the copy of the choice climax the date in the house. And the birthday party coronet's effect is on play. You get 500 power for every card on the stage, including itself, 
until the end of turn. And when this card attacks, if you have the choice Climax in play, you may choose one of your characters to gain the following ability. On reverse, search for a Hololife character. This is a good level one comp. Reason being, it's a search. Search is always good. That means it's a plus. Uh, yes, it's on reverse, but the fact that you can basically combine all of your combos into one card means that 99 or 95% of the time, you are going to get at least one reverse. And that means you can basically put all of your Coronet effect onto that one card that's getting that reverse and still get the same pluses as if it was three cards getting three reverses from a standard Shimakaze combo. This card is really good. Moving on swiftly in terms of what else supports this card, we run one copy of Momozunu Neme. Zunu. Zunu. Zuzu. Monozuzu Neme. This is a level one slayer, meaning that if this card comes reversed during battle, if it is battle opponent is level one or lower, you can also reverse that character. That is so good with the Coronet because you are still reversing it in battle. And as a result of that, you will still get the reverse combo given by a Coronet to this card. Now, it only runs at one of because um, its second effect is pretty techy, which is an alarm ability, which if you don't know what an alarm is, it means it has to be at the correct time as per the effect. It must be the top card of your clock. So for Nene, it is at the beginning of your main phase. If this card is in the top card of your clock, you may pay one, discard one, and refresh, meaning that you get to put all of the cards in your waiting room, back to your deck, shuffle your deck, and you don't have to take the refresh damage. So yeah, basically the reason why this card is run is because one, the refresh is pretty good, and secondly, the fact that it's a level one slayer means that if you're going against standby builds like Mashoku Tensei, like uh, Quintessential Quintuplets, when that becomes a thing, and they've got those big level one bodies, you do not care because you are getting your reverse, regardless. The exception being the Nino that can't be reversed by cost zeros. We don't we don't talk about that card. That that just ruins our day. But against everything else, this card is pretty damn good. In terms of the other level ones we run for this deck, we run two copies of Yozora Mel. This card is I've got an auto ability of once per turn. If you activate an act ability, this card gains one thousand five hundred power and the following effect. Uh, when you attack with this card, you reveal the top card of your deck before your trigger. And if that card is a level one or higher card, you can put that card to stop. It's potentially a free stock gen. It's a pseudo combo in the sense of it's not on the climax combo. It's not as good as a climax combo, obviously. However, it is another way of gaining resources without having to rely on a climax combo. Pretty good. We run two copies of Redacted Uraha Urushia. Uh, this card can be played without color restriction, which is why we don't really care about, care about green during our level one game. And this card has got two effects. First of all, when this card attack, you may choose one of your other characters and give it 500 times the number of other characters you control, known as a Shimakai combo or a Shimakai effect. And its second effect is when this card comes into play for, uh, from hand, you may put a card or a character from your stage into your waiting room, choose another character. And if you do, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it is a Hololive character or the Gen 3 event, you may add it to your hand. It's a quite a nice way of getting cards back to your hand, especially when you've got cards on the field that kind of outlive their purpose. It also gives you an opportunity to basically still plus if you need to get rid of an aqua and sort of generate hand that way as well. You can also do it off of the uh, the Fubuki as well. So you're not just playing over it and you're not getting anything for it. You are actually using this to sack it off another way and basically get a double plus, which is pretty good. So yeah, this card as a two of is pretty good. Plus it helps with your green balance for your later game which we'll come to later on. We run two copies of Towards the Future Together, Robokosan. Uh, this card is an on attack. Choose one of your other characters and give it 1,500 power. And also on play, you may discard a whole life character. And if you do, reveal the top card of your deck and you may get a character from your waiting room equal to or lower than the level revealed of the card the level revealed. Um, this is a great way of just fixing your hand if you need to get any of your level zeros. Uh, it's also a great way that, again, there's, there's enough level one or higher card in this deck where it's likely going to hit level one or higher. So it lets you just fix your hand really well, especially if you've got a card in your hand that you don't need, i.e. if you've got Aquas in the late game that you just do not need or the drop searches that you don't need or the Pekora that you don't need late game. You can just ditch them to fix into something that you actually need. It's a really good hand fix card. And finally, we run two copies of Revenge Amaru Polka. This card is what's known as a Ramaris, which means on play, you may pay one. And if you do, choose one of your characters in your waiting room, spawn it out to the stage as long as it's cost zero or lower. And then at the end of the turn, you must send that card to your memory. Now, this is useful because one, if the card that you spawn dies during the encore step, it doesn't have to go to memory. Secondly, 
if the character does survive, it goes to memory and you get memory compression, which is really good. It helps you cancel later game. So having two of these is just a really good card, especially when you're running enough red to warrant it. Moving on to our level twos and our early plays, we run one copy of the Suisse Anti-Change. It's a 2-5 backup. And when you use this backup, you may discard two cards from your hand. And if you do, you can choose one of your opponent's characters whose level is higher than your opponent's actual level and send it to the bottom of their deck. Pretty good in terms of dealing with anti-changes, dealing with standby. It can clear a lane so that you basically stop taking damage for a turn, or it can clear a back row if there's a problematic back row card. Just a very good resource card. And it, yeah, as a one-off, it's pretty fine because again, you've got plenty of search functionality in this deck. You've got plenty of ways of getting level one or higher, salvage functionality while in the brainstorm. So you don't need it more than a one-off. Talking of ones off, we run one copy of the rest counter, the Hachima Beam, Akai Hato. And this card again, so it's a 2-5 backup uh 2500 power backup and it's also when you use this card backup you may put four characters four hollow life characters from your hand to the waiting room and if you do choose one of your opponent's characters and rest it basically stopping an entire attack a trigger stopping a generation of stop there are times where in this build specifically in kind marine build this card is very good and very easy to loop in this deck not so much because your hand resource is kind of precious so it's very rare that you actually decide that you're going to use this but if you do there are times where when, you know there are times where i didn't run this card and i found that actually i wish i had this card i would strongly recommend just having this as a one-off just in case you need it moving on to our early plays we've got one copy of the towards the future together so we say it is a four or more early play but the special thing about it is if you have four or more characters first it gains minus one level in hand but also it can be played without color requirements, which is pretty neat considering we run a little bit of blue, but that isn't the colors that you want to put into your clock or to your level. Predominantly, you want to focus on red, yellow, and green. So the fact you haven't got to worry about blue is pretty nice. As well as that, during your turn, it gains 500 power for each card in play. We also run two copies of Drawing Fubuki. Fubuki? It is a two or less climax in waiting room early play, where if you've got two or less climax in your waiting room, you may play this card at level two. On play from hand heal, just heal to waiting room. And also it gains 500 power for each of your other hololive characters in the backstage so it only gets 10,500 power so it doesn't get that big but again it's a consistent heal providing your waiting room state and you can control your waiting room state pretty well in this deck especially with the free fresh and then a so you know you can go into a free fresh oh you've got two or less climaxes brilliant i'll only play and heal so not only are you free freshing but you're also healing pretty well and there's enough green in this deck to make it work and with the aqua at level zero the why that card is so good even more is that you can fix your colors very well the fact that you choose any character in your waiting room to put to the bottom of clock means that you can really control the colors. We also run one copy of Tsukumaki Art Watame. This card is a four or more early play again, but rather than being a healer, this card is when this card comes into play from hand, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If that is a hololive character, you may choose one of your characters in the center stage on the opponent's side, and you get to put it to the bottom of the deck. It's a form of removal, but it's good because it's a bottom deck removal. Your opponent can't decide, oh, I'm going to encore that pay three encore, hand encore. They can't do that because it goes to the bottom of the deck. It doesn't hit the waiting room. And that's why this card is so good as a one-off. It deals with fantastic matchups like Michelle Tensei, uh, quintessential quintuplets. And our final piece of board removal is Towards the Future Together IMA. It is an early play with experience where if you have yellow and blue in your level zone, you may play this at level two. It's very rare that you're going to get that in this build. And also it gives all of your other characters 1,500 power, a global 1,5. And, and its final effect and its board removal effect is when this card is placed from stage to hand, you may perform the following action to twice. And what it is, is that you choose one of your opponent's characters, which is level one or higher. And then your opponent must choose one of their level X or lower um, characters from the waiting room and exchange it with the character that was chosen, where X is equal to the level of the character chosen minus one. It's what's known as a level down. Um, this card is pretty good. Again, another form of removal. It doesn't quite work against the likes of uh, hand on cores or level twos where they've got to stop uh, like a standby builds. But it's nice to have this in the builds where you haven't got to worry about hand on core, where you haven't got to worry about um, like you know, people having loads of stock and just being able to save things quite easily. It's just a really good card. But the fact that you can do it twice means that if you know you're playing against a deck where you haven't got to worry about hand on core and things like that, rather than just getting one thing off the board at 
a possibility because you have to reveal the top card of your deck you are guaranteed two board removals now going back to the water may the reveal isn't too bad in this deck because you've got plenty of cards in this deck that let you check the top card you have got the robokusan you have got the uh rusha where if it whiffs you get to know that it isn't a climax oh, sorry it isn't a character you know you, you've got ways of checking the top card pretty well if you need to so the water is pretty consistent but there is a risk moving on to our level three finisher of course we are running towards the future together marine uh, on play you may put a character from state or waiting room and look up to the top three cards of your deck add one of those cards to your hand one card to stock and the rest of those to bin uh, and then it's climax combo with the door enchanting gaze you get to on attack pay one discard a character if you do deal two damage to your opponent and this card gains 2000 power to the end of the turn so you get this to 13 5 14 000 if you've got the pecora uh if you've got some power boost you can get bigger as well which is pretty good um but importantly with this is and the reason why this marina combo is so good and like i mentioned in my previous video you can perform a tri field basically three copies of the combo and get three attacks off and do the combo and you can do that going into your level three game with only four stock that's really dangerous because it means that you don't have to be as stock preservative during your early game you can actually spend your stock to get exactly what you need to sculpt your hand to use the aquas the drop search to use your ramorises polkas uh you know you can really use your stock quite heavily at the beginning of the game and the fact that again the, the top three effect it lets you dig for if you need the climax it digs the climax if you need another copy of the marine it digs for the marine if you need just characters in hand to use for the cost of the combo it lets you do that as well the, the combo itself kind of pays for itself it's really really strong so the fact that you can get three of these off level threes which normally would be at least six stock maybe seven to actually get your first combo piece off you need only four stock to actually be able to do all three combos during your attack phase and finally we run one copy of the festival drawing factory this is the stock swap of the deck of the set pretty much any deck that runs any form of yellow will run this card as at least as a one-off and even if you don't run yellow predominantly in your deck you will find a way of running yellow just to play this card stock swap for those that don't know is on play you may pay the cost which in this case is play pay one and if you do you may uh, put all of your opponent's stock into the waiting room and then you put the equal number of cards that you sent from stock to waiting room from your opponent's deck from the top of their deck without them seeing it into their stock so you could basically kill out climaxes from there if you know that they're pretty compressed um you could basically force them to refresh uh, i've done it before where i've used this card where opponents from three six they've had say eight or nine stock and only six cards in deck and i've gone okay i'm gonna stock swap you for game so you can you can basically kill your opponent without even attacking that's why cards like this are so good and if you are able to run it in any hollow life deck or any deck that has any form of stock uh any stock swap you basically run it as a one-off as a minimum but that's the build i hope you enjoyed it it's a little bit different because i use the green healer a lot of people don't even bother with green and focus on running the sweet says i did try that but having the consistency of having a normal healer and not having to rely on a stock healer was always really nice again when you're reliant on hand for your combo not having to discard to heal is always a good thing i was looking on about maybe swapping a sweet say to a two of and then the fubuki to a one of i did try that but I found that running two Fubuki is better because worse comes to worse. If you need to level one of them, you can for the sake of your green. Yeah, it's, you know, I, I, this is what I found works. I also tried it with the memory package using the Polka early play. Now, whilst that's good and it does work, the problem is if your opponent knows how to get around that, you're kind of screwed because you're not going to get the free cards and memory that you require for your early play package, meaning that you don't get heals, which really sucks until you get to level three. And that kind of defeats the purpose of an early play healer. You want to be able to heal at level two. So I found personally that this is the way to go, but there are memory package heal packages. You can just run the sweet say package as a whole and not bother about any other healers. But this is what's worked for me and this is what I prefer personally. But let me know, what do you think in the comments below? Let me know, what, what build of Coronet Marine do you prefer? Memory package, Fubuki package, or the Suisei package? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And again, check out my other social medias on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and on Patreon. Links are in the description below. And again, big thank you to our sponsor for today, Red Viper Games. <laughs> Check out the link in the description below and make sure you use my discount code YSANCHILL5 for 5% off any Y single or playset pre-order purchase. But thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!